Hey, what's up, y'all? I am your girl, Candy, and I have to shout out Ebony. Oh, my gosh. The new Ebony.com is flavor, flavor, flavor. And I can't believe you've been doing this for 66 years. Oh, wow. A staple. One day, my dream is to be on the cover. I feel that I've always been a businesswoman. I've always had different ventures going on that weren't necessarily in the public eye. I'm into real estate, you know, behind the scenes and music, of course, management of other artists. And since I've been on the show, I feel like it has made me um, push my hustle a little bit harder and make things happen quicker. I feel like if you're gonna be on TV, you need to take advantage of the you know, of your audience, you know, the fact that you have such a platform that so many people are watching, it's like, what's the point in doing it if you're not going to, like, push whatever it is you're working on? Right. You know, I mean, like, I feel like some people really waste their time when they're just sitting up back in the fool on TV or whatever, and they're not benefiting from it. When I first came on the show, like, I really um, didn't have an opinion either way because I didn't really know the women mm -hmm. on the show like that, so... Nothing they said really phased me like that. I was like, I don't know them. Like, they don't right. affect my life, so I didn't yeah. care. Mm -hmm. The only thing was um, at the towards the end of taping, Nene, Nene and I got into it real bad because I didn't like the way she was talking to me. Mm -hmm. I didn't really have, it wasn't like I had a problem with her, but I just didn't like how she was getting all loud, talking to me crazy. So yeah. that's what sparked the um, tension between mm -hmm. she and I. When I came onto the first season, I was like a big fan of, of the show. Mm -hmm. I had been watching, and, but then when I met everybody, it wasn't like what I thought. Certain people you thought you were gonna like, and you like, I don't know if I like you like that. I think it's a lot of pressure. The amount of money we spend on clothes just because we can't wear the same thing more than once. Yeah, the ladies feel like there is pressure, but um, if anything, uh, I just say, hey, just use this moment to get everything while you can. And I hate when one disses the other because a lot of times they all doing the same stuff. Mm -hmm. Like the whole thing when she had put out there about, she was saying about Kim was renting. So is she. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just don't like when people, you know, like you, the pot can't call the kettle black. Ain't that what they mm -hmm. say? Yeah. Or a glass house can't throw stones. Yeah. Like, so let's not do that to each other. I try not to take anything personal on the show. And I know everybody on the show is going to say things about each other. I try not to comment unless they make a comment first or either if somebody else set it off and it comes out in yeah. public, then then I'll be like, okay, I'll speak on it then. I'm a realist and I've been in the entertainment business for so long and I've seen people that have millions to be flat broke. Yeah. So anytime I see a friend or anybody I'm cool with, you know, trying to go all out, I always try to like... You're like, mm, I don't know about that. You might want to bring it back or whatever. Yeah. So it wasn't like I was trying to diss her or talk like, you know, crazy about it. I was just trying to say, you know, you might want to chill out with the spending, pace yourself. Mm -hmm. I feel like she loves to kind of like flaunt what she got mm -hmm. or, you know, try to talk down to certain people. But I'm like, okay, Y'all, everybody is pretty much in the same boat at this point. Now, and, and mind you, I mean, I know this, you know, people always try to make beef out of certain things. Like, I have no beef with her. Right. But realistically, I don't feel like, I mean, what is it possibly she could be doing that she's making more money than me? Or Phaedra. Okay. Like, y'all forget that Phaedra is a real attorney. Yeah. And she also produces shows. Maybe Nene thinks it's a popularity contest. Mm -hmm. This is not a popularity contest because, like, you know, it's not about all the things you're doing in front of camera. Camera. I mean, I own a store. I have my bedroom candy line that's just lunch. I have my candy coated space app. You know, I have my songwriting publishing that's a totally different thing. And mm -hmm. you know, I mean, like, I have my houses. I own houses yes. and it's not like i'm trying to say i'm any better because i don't try to like flaunt things i'm just saying like let's not try to make it like oh i'm doing more like why would I, you know why would you say that i personally don't really see any um escape reunion albums mm -hmm. that's my own personal opinion mm -hmm. i haven't talked to them or seen them in a long time it's been some years i am your girl candy candy burris and please follow me on Twitter. That's Candy on Twitter. Simple. K-A-N-D-I. That's my Twitter name. 
follow me. I'm also on um, my Facebook fan page is Candy Fans. And then my website is CandyOnline.com. Hey, 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 hey.